Good morning. Okay, here it is. Everything on the line. Game seven at the Garden this afternoon between the Knicks and the Pacers. Winner advances to the Eastern Conference Finals. It's actually the first Knicks game seven at MSG since 1995. That was also against the Pacers. New York lost that one, but some encouraging news for the Knicks heading into today's game. Josh Hart left Friday's Game 6 with an abdominal strain. He's listed as questionable for today's Game 7, but according to reports, he will do everything he can to try to play in this crucial game at home. Hart is averaging 14.9 points and 11.8 rebounds per game in these playoffs. And today can also see the return of OG Ananobi, perhaps, who's been out since Game 2 with that hamstring string injury. ESPN is reporting that the plan is for OG to take part in the morning shoot around today to see if he can go for game seven. Before being sidelined with the injury, OG was averaging more than 16 points in eight playoff games. The Knicks know exactly what is on the line today. It's definitely something we fought for and um, to have home court advantage for as long as we can throughout the playoffs. I'm just, I'm just happy that our team has the mindset that we do. And so, um, but it's 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 not given just because it's at home. We get to go, go out there and play and um, earn it. Uh, they're going to be ready, and uh, we're going to be ready as well. So winner advances, loser goes home. Game seven from MSG. Keep in mind the home team has won every game, every home game of this series. It is a 3.30 tip, and you can watch it right here on Channel 7. To the WNBA, a sellout crowd in Barclays for the Liberty home opener as they hosted Caitlin Clark and the Fever. And according to reports, over $2 million in ticket revenue brought, was brought in, which is a WNBA record, the Caitlin Clark effect, we call it. As for the game, which you saw right here on Channel 7, Brianna Stewart leading the way, 20 four points and here go is on for the 91-80 home win. Liberty, they are undefeated 3-0 to start the season. Okay, to baseball we go. Yankees and White Sox in the Bronx. And what a day for Juan Soto. Four for four. He had a pair of home runs, including a 437-footer in the fifth inning. His first multi-home run game as a New York Yankee. As for the starting pitching, it's been on and a record day for rookie pitcher Luis Heal. He struck out a career-high 14 batters. That sets the Yankees' rookie record for strikeouts. Yanks win big 6-1. They've won six in a row. As for the Mets and Marlins in Miami. New York took a 9-5 lead into the bottom of the ninth. Now 9-6 and Edwin Diaz to close it out for New York, but yeah. Oh no. Josh Bell with two on and boom. The three-run home run. We are tied at nine. Diaz charged with four runs in a third of an inning. To the tenth we go. It's Otto Lopez. The walk-off for Miami. Marlin they stun the Mets 10 to 9. Another tough day for Edwin Diaz, who addressed his recent struggles after the game and said he would be open to moving out of the closer role. Yeah, I'm open to everything. I want to help this team to win. That's my main thing. My confidence. I feel like it's down right now. You know, I'm throwing, I'm making pitches. I'm throwing strikes. I'm trying to do my best to to help this team to win. And right now, I'm not in that capacity. Quick trip to the pitch. City Field, the latest installment of the Hudson River Derby. NYCFC and the Red Bulls all even at one in the 64th minute. New York changes that wolf across to Moon Bakra, who taps it in. And that's his first goal of the year. That's the difference, boys. In blue, they take the home win to win the final. That's a look at sports. I'm Sam Ryan. Have a great day. Don't forget Game 7 tonight.